now the latest on October 17th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The only system active around the world today is Tropical Depression 21W in the Philippine Sea. Day 290 of the year brings us 72 storms so far with potential for more over the next few days. The Atlantic has day 138 of the hurricane season in progress. 96L in the Bay of Campeche expected to move out over the Gulf and has a significant chance of development. Day 155 in the Eastern Pacific. What was a potential tropical cyclone 17E has vanished into the coast of Mexico. And in the Western Pacific, we've got Tropical Depression 21W headed to the Philippines and Invest 97W way out in the open waters could develop into a significant typhoon. No storms active in the southern hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet here. So, Tropical Depression 21, 30 mile per hour winds, pressure of 1006 millibars. According to the Joint, Typh Joint Typhoon Warning Center, expected to remain fairly weak, currently 474 miles from Santa Ana in Luzon. So expected to remain as a tropical depression over the next few days. By the time we get to the weekend the storm will be reaching the coast of Luzon and possibly moving overland. Uh, so that could be a rain threat maybe. Here is the storm's appearance out over the open waters, the Philippines, on the far left of your image. Most of the convection displaced towards the east. Wind shear looks like it's going to be low to marginal for the next few days. Um, so well, we'll wait and see. Certainly the possibility that it could strengthen a little bit beyond its means and get to tropical storm status. The North Atlantic, uh, we did have 15L, that's been and gone. Another tropical depression that didn't get a name, rightfully so. Its remnants still just north of the Cape Verde Islands. Elsewhere in the Atlantic, things looking pretty quiet over the open waters. Uh, frontal systems moving through the eastern seaboard of the United States. And in the Gulf of Mexico, that system there starting to get the whole thing off there. Uh, looking pretty potent, and that could easily develop into a tropical cyclone. The Eastern Pacific, still uh, some convection along the western coast of Mexico uh, in association with the energy dispersed from uh, 17E. And out over the open waters of the Pacific, things looking fairly quiet. Um, the remnants of Ema moving well off towards the north a few days ago. The Western Pacific, apart from the Philippine Sea system, is looking fairly quiet. And of course that Invest, which is uh, I think near the Marshall Islands at this point, very far to the east at this time. Uh, and we will be watching out for that one over the course of the next week. And there you can see that tropical depression there in the Philippine Sea. JMA haven't tagged it yet. We'll wait and see whether they do so in the next 24 hours. The Australia and South Pacific region is looking fairly quiet, a few flare-ups over the Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea and out towards the east, northeast of Samoa. The Indian Ocean, uh, there is the potential in the next uh, seven days of a system in the Arabian Sea along the western coast of India according to one or two models. Not sure whether that's it, what we're looking at there, but keep an eye out. Sea surface temperatures along the western coast of Mexico remain warm, around 30 degrees Celsius. The Gulf of Mexico is still fairly warm as well, notably cooler along the US shores though, it's typical of this time of year. Caribbean still remaining 29-30 degrees Celsius generally. Definitely potential for a late season system of some intensity. It won't be this one that we're looking at at the moment, but maybe a future one. Indian Ocean fairly warm, 30 degrees plus in the Bay of Bengal in particular, South China Sea 29 degrees generally, except further north, and in the Western Pacific proper, uh, where that depression is around 28, 29 degrees Celsius, and where 97W is, it's even warmer. This is Tropical Depression 21W, first light has been breaking over this system, which again could develop into a tropical storm, not fully subscribing to the uh, JTWC forecast that it will remain a tropical depression for the foreseeable probably hedging their bets. It is still a little way off tropical storm status, only 30 mile per hour winds, um, and what we've been seeing on ASCAP passes hasn't been fully conclusive that it's strengthening at this point. So that is one that we'll be looking out for over the next few days. Here we are then, October 17th. 72 storms so far, the next name on the list is Nestor in the Atlantic, in the Eastern Pacific, Octave is coming up, and in the Central Pacific, 
it would be Hone. In the Western Pacific, the next name is Neoguri, and in the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 All in Text, and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name, and you can get in touch with us on any of those platforms. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin soon. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description. 